All right, so I'm going to be creating this video for a 5.1-2 uh, uh, worksheet uh, by popular request from uh, Josh and Kathy, uh, two kids uh, that are asking questions all the time, and I'm more than willing to help you guys out. So I don't know about the rest of you. Haha. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to do a few questions that Josh and Kathy were asking about. Okay, so first of all, uh, I want to do number 14. Okay, and it says use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of that. So, as you can see, the right hand side is a pretty complicated function. So, to make life easy, what happens is that if you do ln on both sides, okay, you got x to the 82 square root of 5x minus 76 over x minus 1 to the 87. This is taking lns on both sides then this can be simplified to, and I'm going to skip steps here because some of the stuff that I'm doing here is all pre-calc, okay? So that's uh, 82 ln x plus 1 half ln 5x minus 76 minus 87 ln x minus 1, okay? And now to differentiate this, notice that on the right hand side you've got only y. So you've got to use implicit differentiation, which means you're going to get 1 over y times y prime, okay, from implicit differentiation. And the right hand side is a straight function of x. So just go ahead and uh, differentiate like you would normally. So that would be 82 over x plus 1 over 2, 5x minus 76 times 5. And notice that this 5 comes from taking the derivative of the inside, okay? And the other one's going to be minus 87 over x minus 1. And the derivative of the inside is just 1, so I don't need to times that by 1, okay? Um, but notice that it's asking you to find the derivative of y, which means that it wants y prime. So you're going to take y and multiply both sides by y. And for y, you can use the original function that they gave you, which is this guy here, okay? And so that would give you uh, x to the 82 square root of 5x minus 76, oops, um, over x minus 1 to the 87 times this whole thing that we just got, okay? And I guess if you look at the answer, you can see that you don't need to uh, simplify. You can just leave it like this. That's a minus there, uh, minus 87 over x minus 1. So that's number 14. Let's just quickly go check the answer on that. Um, and so that would be uh, number 14. Uh, looks good. Okay, so that's number 14. And then I think uh, Josh and Kathy wanted me to do 18 and 19. So here goes, okay. Uh, let's start out with 18 first, okay? And so 18 is going to be find the derivative of the function y equals ln ln x 18. So then y prime is going to be equal to ln. And then remember the two chains going on here. There is this ln and then yet another ln. So working from the inside out, um, this guy becomes the inside of this guy, okay? So taking uh, the derivative of uh, ln times ln x to the 18 is going to be, let me just erase this stuff, it's going to be equal to 1 over ln x18, okay? Taking uh, this outside function here first, so it becomes 1 over the stuff, times the derivative of the stuff, and by stuff now I mean this quantity here. So the derivative of ln x18 is going to be 1 over x to the 18 times the derivative of x to the 18 which is 18 x to the 17. So then this gives me 18 over, um, there's an x remaining there so that's x ln x18. Oops, uh, didn't put the 18 in the right place. Um, it's an exponent there. And you can take this a step further because since this is an exponent of an ln function, you can bring that out in the front. So it becomes 18x ln x. The 18s cancel. 
and you get 1 over x and let x is your final answer, okay? Uh, let's go check that, uh, number 18, and what do we get? Oh, I like that answer, both A and D, huh? Okay, so you guys get the idea of how to do that. Um, then we need to do number 19, and let's go do that. Uh, number 19 is going to be okay this looks like it's going to be a u sub thing okay so let uh, u equals x cubed plus 3x squared plus 6x minus 8 and if you du that you get du 3x squared plus 6x plus 6 dx and if you factor the 3 out of there, you get x squared plus 6x, oops, sorry, uh, plus 2x plus 2dx. And the reason why you factor is because now you begin to see that, hey, oops, it's not quite what I wanted. I wanted the highlighter. So let's go do that again. So that's going to be, um, what did I say, 3x squared. Um, put a 3 out, and then that's a 2x uh, plus 2dx. And so if you really look at this thing here, it's exactly what you have in the integrand, okay? And so if you substitute, okay, in here you'll get one-third du because you're going to divide both sides by 3 in here, okay? And then you get 1 over u, which is equal to one-third ln x u plus c, which is equal to one-third ln of whatever you used for u originally, which is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 6x minus 8 plus c. Okay, so that's the answer to number 19. Now let's see if this one also says uh, both a and b. Uh, I think it did, right? Yep, both uh, a and d. Oh, a and b in this case. Okay. All right, so really what happened was that I, I got this off a disk and uh, instead of using multiple choice, I wanted short answers to make sure that you guys are working and you don't just randomly select answers. So this uh, should cover uh, the few questions that some people in period uh, six had. Period five, oh, I have no clue what they are doing, okay? So uh, hopefully you guys will watch and learn. Ah.